As the U.S. looks for solutions for testing, hospitals still need personal protective equipment or PPE. A Forsyth County orthodontist launched a movement to get masks to healthcare workers, and it all starts with a 3D printer. Rebecca Lindstrom has the story you only see on 11 Alive. We have people out there with bandanas, we have scarves. It started with an orthodontist in Cumming who wondered how could his 3D printer make masks for medical professionals in need. They were crying because they weren't be, being given the proper equipment. From that question blossomed a community as layered and dimensional as the masks themselves. An engineering high school teacher and a visual arts professor helped Dr. Mark Causey refine the design. When the University of North Georgia donated the plastic and use of nearly three dozen 3D printers, there was no turning back. We are putting masks together. Volunteers at area churches and families sat around dinner tables to piece by piece put together the vision. What we did is put the straps on, um, cut, cut these down, put these on, and then putting the um, piping in. Katie Bruner is just one of many moms working with their kids to assemble the masks. You're so disconnected. You're watching everything and, and feel like you can't do anything to help. And so it gives some purpose um, for us. Their destination, Northeast Georgia Health System. Lord, we pray your blessings upon these masks. We were there as pastors in Hall County gathered to pray. We not only pray for these masks, but we pray for those who will use them. As more than 750 masks were delivered. It's very heartwarming and it's very uh, humbling. COO Mike Covert says the system's four hospitals are treating more than 120 patients with COVID-19, about a third of those on ventilators. They have traditional N95 masks right now, but are stocking up on key supplies, preparing for the peak in patients. It's most likely the middle of uh, May. Um, and the numbers will be significant. If it wasn't donating material, it was donating time. Robert Turner, the hospital's business development director, was the one tasked with finding a backup mass supply. When he saw Causey's design, he jumped, creating the network that helped make them a reality. There hasn't been one person that hasn't willingly taken on the challenge of putting these things together and help us uh, to kind of create a solution. Like the teacher who had the idea to use the laser cutter at the Dawson County College and Career Center to process the material purchased by the hospital for the mask filter. We couldn't stamp it out because it was too thin. It's, it's been tremendous help. There's still concern about supplies, but the hospital says this has helped put some minds at ease. It's actually been a morale booster for, uh, for our staff and for our physicians. And what about the man who wondered just weeks ago if all of this could be done? No, I'm speechless, really. It shows the power of love. But now the hospital has a new call for help, gowns. They say right now medical staff are going through as many as 7,000 of these a day. So if you have a sewing machine or even some fabric you can donate, we've put a link on our website for how you can help.